Good morning, folks. We've got earthquake news, climate, and electric science in space. But first, as we look at 171 angstroms of ionized iron, let's get started with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. Coronal holes rotating through, bright active region on the south incoming from the left behind the southern coronal hole. There have not been any solar flares from the active region and the X-ray flux is flatlined, but the spots did survive their first 24 hours on our star and now have some very wee little friends behind him. The space weather story at Earth is in the solar wind. Departing coronal hole had its stream sweep over the planet this morning as a density shockwave hit, which is made of slower solar wind out ahead of the fast and hot coronal hole stream, gets bunched up like snow on a shovel blade and it hits first, and then density drops out as the speed begins to rise. Thus far, we have no geomagnetic effect since the stream is evident against the anemic background, but still isn't too severe in itself. Obviously, there is no reprieve from those streams or Earth's magnetic connection to these openings. Quick look at the cloud phase and lightning shots over the United States. Lightning Party did pop up in Oklahoma and began chasing sunrise offshore in the Atlantic in the later hours. Himawari has the most useful video of the last few days as Australia's drought is teased with a line of cloud and light precipitation. Area needs it as bad as any on Earth right now. Let's take a moment to mention that we are now sneaking up on last year's record earthquake drought at the magnitude 7 level. Two more days, 2018 will match the trend of 2017. Let's do the top articles. In a vice versa from the stories we've reported previously, confirmation now comes that Europe basically goes as the water goes. Remember, the Beaufort Gyre is still waiting to release the record cold, fresh water bomb on the Atlantic. It's coming. Taking a more blame game approach, the southern oceans have always, that's 100%, always been thought to be a carbon sink, but in reality, it is adding to the totals in a big way. By the way, this means that in all existing climate models, the real climate effect of the southern ocean gets blamed on humans. And it's part three all over again. The Hall effect is the separation of charge potential over a conductive medium when a perpendicular magnetic field is applied. And for those who have thought that the Brie disks and other disks in the cosmos were electric, I know a few professors who happen to think you're right, and it's the Hall effect. With the dark matter search failures, the Anapole wimps have become a key player in the minor leagues. However, his first at-bat in the big time, he has struck out. We're going next to the illustrious animations of Cosmic Time. Researchers at the University of California, Riverside, and Los Angeles have peered into the space between light to gaze as far back in time as possible. They're finding some surprises. From opacity to how few galaxies are seen to exactly how the gas and ionization from ultraviolet light tells them what they are seeing. Still much to learn. Folks, I have confirmed that Dr. Tinsley will be speaking on electromagnetic coupling of the sun to climate. More on the speakers and topics and schedule coming this week. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.